Hello everyone, today I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to solve the Rubik's Cube uh, blindfolded, except the corners only. If you haven't watched my part 1 video, it's about the edges, and I can link that in the, in the description if you guys want. So, uh, the lettering scheme is uh, the same as the edges, except with the corners. Uh, so you start um, with... Uh, so you can have any uh, color scheme that you want, but I have... A green front and white top so then you start on top a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x so uh the algorithm that swaps a uh, corners is y perm uh without the beginning f uh, and ending F moves. So here's the Y perm, uh, well, like the regular Y perm. Do that. But you do it without the F moves, and then, oops. So, so you do it uh, without the F moves in the, um, at the beginning and at the end. So, uh, it will look a, a something like this. And then that has swapped. But these two, uh, corners and these two edges but that's not important right now and then that is going to be the swapping algorithm with uh and then the buffer piece is right here uh and then the target is all the way down here so it might seem a pretty hard uh, to get a corners from from anywhere to here and then from here to here but trust me, it actually is very, very easy to come up with short and simple a, a set of moves. So, uh, let's start with scramble, I guess. Um, now, uh, I'm just going to solve it, but without the corners, so I'm just going to skip a step so now we do not have to worry about the corners i'm just going to insert the edges and 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 and, and it's basically how we just uh, scramble up cubes uh or just the corners so now what do i do here uh i have a soon i think that works no it didn't uh i'm sorry guys I'm trying to solve all the corners Wait. Wait, it was just solved, right? Yeah, there you go. Alright, sorry that it took so long. So here uh is everything solved. Well not everything. Uh the edge is solved, but the corners are not. So the buffer piece is right here. So first we look. This is uh white, blue, orange. Now this is actually uh the buffer piece flipped. So, uh, so you want to solve it, no, swap it with any unsolved piece, which can be right down here. Uh, so you can just swap it with a swapping algorithm. And it's right here. So now this has to go uh, right here. So to set moves for uh, right here. So, uh, so you can just do, as, uh, do this intuitively. The way that I that I like to think of corner and the top layer is just I move it to the bottom with R, and we need to make sure that we do not affect any of these three pieces. And then you do, and then and then you just do a D prime, and that uh, sets it up here. So it was uh right here. So so you move it down here, it's right here. Swap it. And then you undo the uh, set of moves, so like that. It's right there. Next for this one, this has to go here. It's, it's, it's very simple, you just do a D. Swap, undo. This has to go here, which is the target, which is okay. So we can s uh, solve the target. But now, this, uh, so, so the buffer is solved, uh, but the uh, rest of the cube is not solved. So here, uh, so you can swap it with this one. So here... Uh, you can just do an F, so uh, so just like the regular uh, Y perm, you do F, 
and then oops then you just do that last uh setup move this has to go here so you can do f r prime it's here swap it then this has to go here so if you have it in the back and on and, and on the left side then i just want to move it to the actual back over here and then just move it up here it's very simple just to um a move to set up and do it it's right there and lastly you just need to put this one here so you can move it down swap undo so uh, so, uh, so i'm just gonna go through the algorithm one more time slowly r u prime r prime u prime r u r prime f prime r u r prime u prime r prime f r f prime oops no 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 not not the f prime at the end now that may seem long but with good uh, finger tricks it can actually be done very quickly so um but yourself will not be accurate if uh, there is an odd number of edge swaps, so I forgot to mention this in the uh, part one video where, uh, where I did the edges. So basically, if you have an odd number of swaps on the edges, then you, uh, then you have to do the, the parity algorithm, which is just the R perm. So you go like that. R, D, R prime, U prime, R, D prime r prime u2 r prime u prime and then uh that swaps uh these two and it can make uh the swapping for the corners accurate and then it also swaps uh, these two but that's okay because uh if you swap uh the corners uh, so, uh, so like i mentioned at, at the beginning so if, uh, so if you do a corner swapping algorithm then then these two also swap so, uh, don't worry about uh, these two, because they actually will get solved, uh, as long as you do the parity algorithm after the edges. So, you want to memorize it this way. First, you want to memorize the corners with audio. Then, you want to uh, memorize the edges with, like, a story or words. And then, you want to solve the edges and then solve the corners, uh, because audio is uh, easier uh, to hold in your memory for a longer period of time. Um, and also there are uh, a maximum eight pieces of information that you want to memorize. Unless you have the flipped edge, then there's going to be more. But if, but if there's no f flipped edges, then the maximum is only eight pieces of information that you need to memorize for the corners only. So that's pretty much it. Trust me, I am not a very good at blindfolded, but this tutorial, I think, covered everything that is needed uh, to know. And I, I'm i probably going to do an example solve in the future, but that is my tutorial on how to solve the corners only with the blindfolded method. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.